What's up, YouTube? In today's short episode, I've got a large basement, a bedroom, a laundry room, a hallway, a set of stairs, a living room, family room, dining room, on this beautiful home out here in Seebeck, Washington. You can see it right off the Hood Canal water. And you can see the Cascade Mountains up above that. Absolutely beautiful. I have my lovely wife helping me today doing the vacuuming. This particular home has cats. So there was a ton of cat hair and also a ton of cat litter kind of spread throughout all the carpets. I've already started back here in the bedroom that's down here in the basement. I'm using the new thick, almost looks like a mop, pad. can't remember the name of them, but they are, uh, they're made of rayon. And the thing about rayon is if you're in a humid area like we are in the Pacific Northwest, the rayon actually is more absorbent than cotton is so and the fact that it's super thick if you've ever seen these everything i use can be found in the link below in the description for ncapstore.com but uh, the pad worked amazing i primarily wanted to use it because i'm doing the berber carpet and i'm using awesome cap and go oxy and i wanted something with enough bite to be able to get in between all these little uh, tufts that are on the Berber carpet. It's like an, kind of an off-white gray type carpet. And the proof is in the pudding when it comes to vacuuming. I would honestly say that 85% of the soil or the dirt was dry soil, dry particulate soil, as well as hair, and like I said, the cat uh, litter box stuff really needed to come up. There are some spots, some cat throw up, and some cat pee areas throughout. The Go Oxy will just eat right through that, so no problem there. And the awesome end cap is going to encapsulate these carpets. There'll be zero residue. Should come out beautiful. Here's the staircase. It goes up and then it turns up to the left. That brings you to the second level, but you can see here, this is that large basement that I'll be doing. Comes all the way around. This basement actually counts as three rooms. That's how big it is. So I'll let my wife vacuum up a little bit here and then I'll catch right back up again. Alrighty then, say goodbye Miss Lisa. And here you go, I've got the swirly 175 floor machine out on the Berber. And this pad is super thick so it got a little wobbly. I actually had the adjustment on the lever set a little high. I needed to drop it just a little bit lower which eventually as I get through this I figured that out. So you're gonna see a little bit of wobbling. That's just because it's not at the proper position for me to hold it securely. We are scrubbing. I did pre-spray, so I'm not doing the shower feed today. I pre-sprayed it with the work sprayer. We did have some dwell time. No need for any pre-agitation or a separate pad to pre-agitate. 
this bad boy should just remove all the soil. I'll be showing you the pad here shortly, so stay tuned. Yeah, swirly at work. This is a money-making machine. If you want to get into the business, the swirly is a rotary, but it works perfect for residential and commercial. It also has a pin on the bottom of the handle. You can pull the pin out, take the handle off. You could throw it in the back of a Honda Civic. Look at that pad. Oh, yeah, let's take a look at it. Oh, my wife didn't let me touch it because I don't have gloves on. <laughs> All right, I'll have her drop it down flat, and then I'll have her flip one side over so we can see the contrast. You can clearly see there, picking up the soil. I'll keep you posted if you're a carpet cleaner and you're new to uh, these pads. I'll kind of be using these on the daily. I'll keep you posted how they hold up. You do want to be very careful on the transition bars that have the screws holding them down. Those loops will grab a hold of a screw and rip the transition bar right off the carpet. So be careful there. Everything looks beautiful down here. Here is the products like I said I'm using. I got my five gallon jug filled up to uh, just about four gallons. I will be adding five ounces per gallon of Gooxy, which is a 15% hydrogen peroxide. It is stabilized, made for carpet, so it won't bleach it out. Awesome end cap with the wonderful orange scent is the encapsulator I'll be using. This is synthetic carpet, so I think the upstairs was nylon, downstairs was olefin, so no problem there. I'm not using the simple end cap. If I was dealing with any wool, cotton, silks, anything like that, I would have chosen the simple end cap and of course not used the Gooxy. Here is the pad. This pad's going to work superbly on this Saxony style nylon carpet. Saxony just means it's a little bit higher than the normal frise pile. It's like a mid-grade pile. It's a beautiful day out there. There is no light in this room. I'll show you. On and off, nothing. I did open the blinds to get a little bit of light, but I also put my head, my headlamp on there. So if I couldn't open the blinds, I'd still have the light. That headlamp works great. I got a set of two for $14.99 on Amazon. And I believe it is a 500 lumen headlamp. I wear one when I take my dog outside at night so I can see where he went to the bathroom so I can pick it up. And for safety reasons, just to be able to see where I'm walking. And then this one works great. I just put the headband around the machine and there you go, you got light. This particular headlamp runs off of one, I believe it's one AAA battery. 
I found a whole box of, I think, 100 AAA batteries that are Amazon brand for, I want to say, 10 bucks. Anyway, it is cleaning wonderfully. The only thing left to do after this will be to groom the carpets. This is the style carpet that is upstairs. Actually, I am upstairs now. This is one of the bedrooms upstairs. So I'll be cleaning uh, living room, dining room, family room, and, and this bedroom up here with this all nylon carpet. You can tell it's all nylon. It's an older carpet, probably 12, 12 years old maybe. And I think if I'm not mistaken, about eight years ago, they started using a bunch of polyester in the carpets to make it cheaper. There's the groomer. I'm going to finish this job, groom it up, and head to lunch. I appreciate you all watching. If you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. Smash that thumbs up for me and leave me some comments. What do you think about the headlamp and the new pad? I'll see you in the next one.